We got a best of one on Last Refuge. Shades vs. Remote in the uh, Return to the Jungle Knockout Tournament. And as soon as we load in, there we go. So we got Shades starting in the bottom left in purple. And remote in blue in the top right. This is one of my favorite uh, maps, just in general, honestly. I like how it's kind of medium sized, but still smaller. Um, there's awesome creep routes available if you want quick level 3 on a hero. There's awesome creep routes available if you want to harass and just do, you know, do one creep camp and then go and constantly harass somebody. Looks like both players are opening pretty standard. I wouldn't be surprised if we see this devolve into Breaker Wars. Unlike the rest of the community, I actually don't mind Breaker Wars. Now that I'm hoping we see it, of course, with best of ones, it's always fun to see people go for something different, go for something else. Uh, you know, just knock out the player. So, go for something crazy. Who will do what is the question. Shades, I believe, is the more experienced player. Looks like he's setting up to get the uh, Troll Shadow Priest. Whereas Remote is simply going for a scout. That Troll Shadow Priest will add a big... Oh, no, I'm sorry, he's just pulling the Rock Golem camp. But he probably will hire the Troll Shadow Priest. Especially for abolishes on the Water Elemental. A player's forces are under attack. Good job by Shades, pulling away the camp. Shadow Priest is hired. And we got a fight between a Militia and a Footman. And what item will Shades get for this? Rune Bracers. Uh, kind of a bad item <laughs> in this matchup. I mean, I guess it's good if, if uh, Remote goes for a quick Mountain King and gets that Mountain King to like level 3 immediately. Then then you could see Rune Bracers actually doing something, but in this case, I would honestly maybe just sell it. Easy 250 gold, or 200 gold. And Remote does get a quick level 2, gets Gloves of Haste, Gloves of Haste, and Gauntlets of Ogre Strength. Yep, abolishing. A player's forces are under attack. I'm not sure if he should have used the second abolish on uh, that water elemental. Water elemental move speed is pretty slow. He definitely could have just chased that down and killed it, and then still had a full abolish for remote's next water elemental. Just some optimization stuff that doesn't. That matters, but uh, maybe it doesn't matter too much. He'll still have one abolish once that next water mantle comes out and you're in three mana. And Shades here putting in work has has these two water elementals actually doing something, doing good damage onto the uh, Archmage. Putting it in good damage onto the oh, footman and militia. And 
and one footman has died so far. This second water elemental for remote going down. Giving Shades the full advantage on experience. And Shades bringing in a Forest Troll Berserker now. Great mercenary damage. That level of piercing damage is amazing in these fights. And Shades gets a quick level 3 forcing away remote from his own base. But remote's peasants are in a solid state. And I think he needs to just be chasing down Shades' army. Forcing some pressure on him, keeping him away. Mountain King coming out now. Full remote. Remote on tier 2 already. Shades halfway to tier 2. Arcane Fall going up for Shades in his base. And remote honestly probably needs an Arcane Ball in or around his base. Two level 2 water elementals out for Shades and those are putting in. Oh my god, it's just so much damage. This is going to be a TP force here. Good job by Ramon not letting the Archmage die, dude, getting the teleport. But I think he might be trapped in his base. <laughs> uh oh, this isn't good. And that's a dead Archmage. <laughs> Needed to move his peasants. Panic mode sets in. And it gets hard to know what to do. You start just right-clicking on the Archmage, hoping that right-clicking your, your hero is going to get him out of danger. And Remote calls GG. Quick GG here. In a good game, Shade's showing his experience, I would say. <laughs> Remote in chat saying, I kept my promise of losing in round one. So, good humor to the guy. And Shades now will uh, advance to the next round. 